Good evening, folks. Let's see how many times we can make the pinball machine go ding. There's a tremendous study of a faint galaxy in which a major plotline of dark matter is poised to be rewritten. After last week's news of a galaxy that has no dark matter, we now see one that rejects the halo cusp notion of a vast dark matter field. Instead, they say, only dark matter possible is in the center of the galaxy. That would be on the right side. All the dark matter expected around it isn't there, and they say that there are only two options. Either we are seeing physics that cannot be explained with the standard cold dark matter model, or there was a heating and expulsion of the dark matter from the faint galaxy, despite the fact that massive, powerful galaxies don't seem to do it. Now, as if that bit of logic isn't hard enough to work through, we saw this morning that dark matter is probably less interactive outside of gravity. And that, in fact, would indicate that the heating and expulsion, which require interaction, is even less logical of a choice for explanation. Here we can see how two studies can be used to gain information that neither article contains themselves. Now, I want to bring in something we discussed on our podcast today, this morning's article about magnetic fields at large scale being coherent around the galaxies. If we keep hearing problems with dark matter actually being able to explain galactic dynamics, let alone be found, we should begin to ask what effects a large coherent field structure would have on these dynamics. If there are moons magnetically connected to planets, planets magnetically connected to stars, and galaxies connected to other galaxies in the cosmic web, well maybe right in the middle, stars trace magnetic connections to our Magellanic clouds. The 3D dipole structure we saw this morning directly facing us is easiest to explain like more pearls on a string, and it only works if there is a large, coherent galactic field, like it appears there might be. Don't forget also that we heard about how the three best studied galaxies, the Milky Way, Andromeda, and Centaurus A, all have satellite populations with distribution and co-rotation in violation of the cold dark matter models. So, if we are seeing alternative explanations for this, like modified gravity, what says we first figure out the effects of the modified electromagnetism? By the way, we should really be able to see the dark matter signal if it's there in Andromeda, our closest neighboring galaxy. The lack of previous detections, and now this one, make for a rough case. Now we've tied the recent stories to other recent ones and some from the past, some even somewhat unrelated. Welcome to the Real Cosmic Web. I'll see you in the morning. Be safe, everyone.